Hey, Joe Zarzer here with another installment of Zarzer Law TV. We, uh, as you know, we handle uh, a lot of motor vehicle accident cases in Florida. And many times when you leave the scene of the crash, or most times when you leave the scene of the crash, the officers are going to give you a piece of paper that they print out in their car. And the piece of paper is called a, driver, a Florida Driver's Exchange of Information form. A lot of people think that's the rec report. It's not. It's just an exchange of information. And what it has is just the identity of the people involved in the wreck. And sometimes it has a reference to their insurance company. Most of the time it has a reference to their insurance company. And sometimes it has the policy number on the form. But it usually just has the biographical information of the a person involved in the wreck or the people involved in the wreck and the insurance companies involved. And from that you will immediately know, usually, that at least the person involved in the wreck produced an insurance card or insurance information at the scene to the police officer. So that is an important piece of information to have because at least there is some evidence that the person that caused the wreck has insurance. So sometimes though you get home and the next day or that same day you get a call from your insurance company and your insurance company wants to take your statement because you have reported a wreck and as you've seen in other videos that we've done, you should not give a statement to your insurance company or any insurance company about your injury. Okay, you should only tell them what happened and that you're not sure about the extent of your injury and you don't want to comment on it with, without speaking to a lawyer first or knowing the extent of your injury. They want you to make statements about how your injury is not that big of a deal or you feel fine or you don't think you're hurt that bad or the emergency room released you, which they do in 99% of the cases anyway. That doesn't mean that you don't have a serious injury. That just means you're not going to die. Again, as we've said in other videos. But the purpose of this video is to talk to you about what happens if your insurance company tells you, oh, by the way, the other driver doesn't have a policy and, and, the, and the insurance information they gave the police officer is not accurate. That doesn't mean you don't have a case. That means that potentially that person that presented the card at the scene didn't present an accurate uh, insurance card, but there's a lot of things that could, uh, could be going on here that would still allow you to have a case. Number one, the owner of the vehicle could be a different person. The owner of the vehicle may have insurance on a different policy, and the owner may have not been at the scene. So the, the police officer didn't have any way of getting that information for you. That's number one. Number two, even if you assume the owner and the driver both have no insurance in violation of Florida law, your policy many times will have coverage that picks up uh, in the shoes of, or in place of rather, those at-fault drivers. That, that insurance is called uninsured motorist coverage. And so it's really important if there's any doubt in your mind and you're injured from a wreck and you think the other party doesn't have insurance, it's really important that we verify that with, with, uh, with the process that we have called the 627 request process where we send a statutory uh, letter to the insurance companies and in response they have to provide us an under oath statement of insurance on behalf of all the parties involved. We do that as a first step, so if there's any questions about liability or insurance being around or not, we find that out. If there's any question about uninsured motorist coverage, we find that out. So, just because you hear what you think is bad news that, oh, the other driver didn't have coverage, that doesn't mean that the owner doesn't have coverage, and in Florida the owner is equally responsible, or it, doesn't, it also doesn't mean that your policy itself doesn't provide coverage for your injury. Best thing to do is give us a call, let us look at it. We'll talk to you in detail about it. If necessary, we'll get the insurance information for you and find out. Keep in mind though, your injury comes first. Get the treatment you need for your injury. Make sure you don't give any statements to any insurance company, including yours, about your injury or how bad or how not bad it is. You don't know at this point, even if you feel okay. So that, that's just a, a, a good uh, live by tip when it comes to these car wrecks. If you have questions about this or want to talk to us about a potential case, you can find us on the web at zarzalaw.com or you can call us at 855 Hire Joe. Thank you.